guys, welcome back to another episode in the series where we're 3D printing dies and pressing them into sheet metal. We started with sheet aluminium and the ultimate goal is to press mild steel at the end. So, had a bit of a go in between this episode and the last one with a bit of carbon fiber PTEG. Um, didn't quite go to plan, so we'll go through some of the footage and some of the issues we had there and explain um, explain what was going on and why it didn't work so good and why we've gone back to the PLA Plus and we'll give that a go. Like always, thanks for watching and appreciate any of your comments, likes, uh, all of that. Thanks for supporting the channel. Once again, huge shout out to a good friend of mine, Brett for helping us with the design and printing aspect of all these dies and changes that we're making during the process. So if you've seen some of the other videos in the series already, uh, either the first or second episode, you would have seen we started off doing a fair bit of testing on the aluminium and ended up uh, towards the end of the second episode, we got good definition out of the 1.2 aluminium. And we also tried the polyurethane method. So using the bottom die and compressing some of this polyurethane down. Uh, these were our first set of dies. We moved along and in the footage that I haven't shown yet, we attempted to use this carbon fiber infused PTEG, which on the bottom is printed real nice, but as we got towards the printing stage of it and higher up, it um, had a few temperature issues and it seems to have not bonded correctly, so not fused together. So as the pressure was applied, the print lines sort of separated and came apart. So it didn't really like the pressure as much as the PLA um, that had the fusion. So, you can see these are fairly deformed now. I did have a go at printing some 1mm mild steel. And it took a lot of pressure and it took a lot of toll on these dies. Um, we did get... We got a bit of definition out of it. Um, but the sheet I had was... Or the sheet I picked up was actually quite hard. So, this episode... We've made a few changes to our very first die, widened it up, put a bit of a taper on the walls, and this is back out of PLA Plus. And we've also made it solid. We've kept the thin thickness compared to the original, but we've solid, we've made them solid back again because we were having issues with the mild steel pushing into the triangle reinforced hollow section so we've decided to fully print them solid again in plastic and we'll see how we get on cut some more coupons out with the help of a friend of ours guillotine big shout out to signbiz wa uh, this is 0.5 aluminium, so like all the videos, we'll press a couple of those first and just see the shape of the die and how it works out. And then we will move into this 0.8 mild steel. So this is about the thinnest mild steel I can find that's uh, not galvanized or color bond or anything. So hopefully we'll have a better chance with this stuff. Just gonna spray our sheet down with a bit of WD-40, um, load it up into our dies, and we'll bang it in the press. Load it up in the press here, you can see one of our early ones on display. Usually it doesn't take a whole lot to press this, uh, 0.5. So we're about bottomed out there, about three or four ton on the gauge, and we'll let it off. So 
So the edges on this one appear to be a little squarer. I think because we've opened up the gaps. So these ones will look slightly different to the previous versions. With our new design, you'll see it's slightly different down here where the bottom of the gear shifter is and these triangles. We actually redrew the design a bit to try and aid us in the uh, material manipulation. So there's a difference, bit difference up here with the eight. Um, it printed a lot smaller this time. So we might have to widen that back out to fill the tolerance in. Uh, and a lot more material gap through here. So it might reduce the pressure so much on the dies. And maybe we'll have a bit of a better chance. Got another one loaded up. We might push this one a little bit harder just to see if we can get some better uh, definition into that 8. It has shrunk uh, a little during the print, but we'll see how we go. We've gone up to six there. So it's coming out nice and easy. And very similar. So the eight's definitely going to have to get bigger. But overall, the definition's nice and sharp. Just wipe the WD-40 off the first three aluminium ones. So the overall definition is pretty good. It is struggling around here with the 8, like I mentioned before. Uh, but now the real test, the dies, these dies still look good. So not real any issues with the 0.5 aluminium. They really hold up well. You could probably print 50, I reckon. But the real test is going to be this mild steel. So we'll spray one up good here, we'll load it up and see if we can actually get some shape out of it. Really going to have to work hard for the money now. So it looks like we're squeezed pretty flat all the way around at about 12. 12-ish tons. Might just give it a little more. So we've gone up to probably 13, 14. So we'll see if we've made much of an imprint. Popped open real easy. Wow, so that is, I'm pretty happy with that. Don't forget this is 0.8 mil mild steel, um, straight off the, or straight off what they call cold rolled. So it hasn't been heat treated or anything. And overall, that is pretty good. Just about comparable to the 1.2. I've got it labeled as one, but it's actually really thick. It ended up being 1.2. So pretty much comparable to that and this is out of mild steel. So that is awesome. Let's see if we can do another one. Initial assessments after the 0.8 mild steel on the dies. The dies are looking really good. Uh, even this side's looking really good with these thin lines. Still quite pronounced. Uh, the only major issue is that really small 8 there that we've seen. So it's kind of depressed that little bit but other than that for 14 ton in the PLA plus really good another piece of mild steel loaded up I reckon we'll push this one to about 20 and see how we get on got some pressure into that one probably about 20 so we'll see if it increased the definition or not at all pretty 
pretty damn good. So overall, very happy with actually the amount of definition that we did get out of it. This is way, way harder than any of the aluminium, as anyone would know, especially that 0.5. Um, and the good thing with the aluminium is you can anneal it easy. The mild steel, on the other hand, it's not very easy to anneal. So overall, I'd call it a great success. If we could try and get a little bit more out of that eight there, I'd be pretty happy. Uh, but for the PLA Plus dies, they will think they will still go. They doesn't seem to be much overall damage at all. Even on these really thin lines, these ones in the center here are probably only two mil wide and our height was only 1.5. So we still got a lot of that height there. And overall the thickness, uh, the backing thickness is only about three mil. When we first started this project, we made them, I think the backing thickness was about seven mil and these were solid plastic. So they were really quite big and they took quite a while to print and uh, new changes we're not using anywhere near as much material and time on the print so to stamp that image into 0.8 mild steel cold roll I'm over the moon with that that's probably going to do it for this one so overall real happy with how they turned out today um, after the few changes we made and we sort of steered away from that carbon fiber infused PTG. I guess if we had more time and we spent more time with our tip temperatures and all of that stuff, we probably could get it to go better. But it really didn't seem to like the amount of pressure that the PLA Plus or the melted plastic likes. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to drop a comment. Check out the other videos if you haven't already and appreciate all the support. Cheers.